Drum roll, please. Ooh, you hear that like the air escape. Okay. All right. It's actually the next day, and it's actually, actually, actually really beautiful out. Oh, Andrew's mowing the lawn. I'm like, there's somebody in our yard. The kids are just doing their thing like normal, and um, Mike and I never got to it last night. We're going to go check on our food storage, or we have some wheat, like we said. We're going to see if it's still good, and i um, not really sure how we judge if it's still good. I might have to Google that and then make some bread out of it if it is. And we'll share that recipe with you today. All right, before we go out to look at the wheat, what did you just pull out? Got the wheat grinder out. Gonna eat it out, but this is actually- Blend tech. Whoa, Whoa you almost killed me. Kind of heavy on that side. This is a good one. Oh. Um, I don't know, actually, we uh, we had one of these before we started traveling, and then we... I think we gave it away. We gave it away. I'm also almost wondering, no, I'm like, is this ours? No. <laughs> but uh, some friends of ours were, were not using theirs anymore, which is this one, and they were just getting rid of it, and we're like, we'll take it. Yeah. Uh, so, we're going to give it a shot. Oh, dude, it um, sounds like a, a jet well, engine when it turns on. This moment, but um, I do need to get the little filter. So, so um, you put the weed in here, it goes down, and then your flour is in here. Yeah. And this little filter keeps... Man, that is a blast from the past for me. We used to do this once a week. Keeps the weed out too much. Oh, wait. We need this thing. Yeah, and the cup, too. It. Don't forget the crystals. <laughs> Napoleon Dynamite quote. Yeah. Uh, Man, this feels so weird. There it is. I think it goes like that. Okay. Now that's ready to. Oh, yeah. yeah, look at this glass that all of you Flour. Just the residue. We have to run that a little bit. Yeah, it's like a jet engine. Not much else can go on when that's on. I know, you can't hold a conversation. Okay. Oh, just, you know, a crowbar. <laughs> uh, so we've had this wheat. We we have carried this weed around with us through like five different states that we've lived in. Which isn't too big of a deal for us. I mean, anyways, this is it. I think it has a date on it somewhere. A little dusty. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's filthy. Um, Should we clean it off? I don't have a. I, I've looked. There was no date that I could see. Mm, okay. Anyways, let's go check it out. Let's get the. Yeah, that did a lot. Yeah, we might need to. <laughs> We might need to like vacuum it off or something. Or just wipe it. We're gonna open it. So this weed's probably a good 20 years old. I don't Yo, know. Yo, older. I bet my, parent, my parents gave it to us when they didn't need it anymore. And I think it was 10 or 15 years old really? at that time. So right. maybe 25 to 30? I don't know. We'll okay, find well, out. It's older than me. Let's see. This is old wheat. Are they all of those wheat? Okay. It's just, yeah, it's wheat kernels. Open or wheat berries, that's what they call it. What does that mean? <clears throat> the slots. I, I is that think, right here? Like through that right there? I probably need a razor. Okay. Oh, because I think it, it pops. Yeah. Okay, okay Dad just vacuumed the top. I think it went off because it was gross for me. Dude, it's much. probably got like all sorts of like bacteria. What? Maybe we should actually wipe it, you know? All the gross things that are Well, I mean, that's not going to touch. It won't touch it. Okay. It's kind of cute how the brand name is almost like Norp, huh? Yeah. Looks like it's like Norp, but it was Nor. No peas. It was no Nor. pee pee. No pee pee in this thing. Why is pee pee in Norp? Why not just Norp? I don't know. I'll have to ask the Germans who made it up. Okay. He's got a car an audience. This is a big moment. Moment of truth. Drum roll, please. Let's see. <laughs> 
Ooh, did you hear that? Like the uh, air escaped. It's like Whoa. it's like Indiana Jones when yes. you open up the the thing. I'm honestly done. What are you going to help for? There it is! Our face is going to start to melt off. Come on, can I feel it? Hey, stop. Your hands clean, Megan? Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. It smells fine. How's it smell? It smells it? fine. No, you can't touch it. I don't want to touch it. I think it's okay. All right. Go. Let's grind it. <laughs> yeah. Let's do this. Let's grind it. Okay. So what's the trick, Megan? I believe, if I recall, when the bread recipe use, uses between 14 to 16 cups of flour, I believe I would grind 12 cups of wheat berries to get that much flour. And what kind is this? Is this white wheat or hard white wheat or is it yeah, red wheat? It's hard. It uh, says on there. It's, it's the good kind. It's the good stuff. Okay. No, leave it on. Leave it on. Okay. What I like about it is that it's super. Uh, you guys got to watch out because that thing's gonna. That thing is hot in there. The yeah, metal part. I forgot. So you don't want to touch it. We should unplug it. Just sort of set it on the side. How hot is it? Well, it's that metal part gets really hot. Is that the grinder right it's, there? It grinds right there. Goes between those metal things mm -hmm. and that spins super fast. So there's no escaping. So All right, that's I it. Use like a pastry brush. Before. Oh yeah, we need to get another brush. Here, skip back, you. So, okay, this is the simplest bread recipe. Do we have this on our website? No, I'll put it on there. I we made this yeah. once a week for oh, years. Yeah. Um. Yeah. What we it's our own recipe because all the wheat ones I was finding online had all of these additives like dough enhancer and something else that everybody put in, I can't remember, but we kind of messed around with that recipe so we could get it even simpler and I think it tastes better. I like it better. It isn't as shelf stable as if you add those additives, but for us we can get to the loaves really fast. So that wasn't ever an issue. You can also make a smaller batch if you wanted to. Yeah, right. but this makes five loaves. It is whole wheat bread, yeast, salt, honey, olive oil, and wheat, and obviously water. So really simple. That's it. And so we're gonna get. Sorry, I like how warm the this is like super warm flour right and now. And I guess we have. Because it just helps. I feel like wheat bread with everything. It smells good. So first thing we're gonna smells do like fresh is flour. make a paste. We're gonna do three quarters cup. Was it three or two thirds? I think it was two thirds. Two thirds, I think. Yeah. Two thirds cup of oil and honey. And I do the oil first, so that when I do the honey, it slides out of that measuring cup more easily. So. Okay, six cups of hot water. You just poured it in here, right? Mm-hmm. That's actually hot water. It's not yeah. warm. It's like... yeah. Well, they say warm on all the recipes, but that just means like on the top, as hot as it'll come out of your tap, unless you have a crazy tap. It's like right before you feel like the water's gonna burn you. Is the temperature you want it? So two tablespoons of yeast. That sounds like a pig. Excuse you. Honey. So I'm gonna make a paste of about seven cups of the flour and all the other ingredients except for the salt. We're gonna out that fast. Oh, we need to plug it in. Gotta plug it in. Can you do that for me, Jude? Yeah. Come on. pretty excited about this one. Six cups of water, seven or eight cups of flour. I don't know how much to put it in. Yeah, because it's darker. You might need this some more wheat. Whole wheat, baby. Can I add the thing in? So it's gonna sit there for a half hour while it does its thing. Yeah, you can do 15 minutes, but the longer you leave it, the more 
complex the flavor will be. Okay. And I didn't count. Are you counting count your cups? Because so. you got how many more cups of flour do you got to use? Uh, probably eight. And a bunch of nice That's probably okay. Yeah, well, I guess we'll see. That's what it looks like, which looks fairly disgusting, folks, I know. But it's just... That's what you want it to look like. Yeah. We have another box of salt, right? We do. So we got how much salt? Two tablespoons. So now I'm going to turn it to one. I'm going to add flour. Until the dough starts pulling away. How's it looking? Good. I, I add the dough, I mean, I add the flour until the bowl is clean. So just, that's why I'm looking to make sure the bowl is clean. And then I'm going to leave it on a two on the Bosch for 12 minutes. Well, let's set the timer for 12 minutes, which is twice as long as I do for the white bread. Quick plug for the Bosch. If you're going to make bread, that's the way to go. We've had our Bosch mixer since we were really early married. I think my mom and dad gave it to us as like a Christmas present. <sighs> Must have been like our first Christmas we were married. So it's been almost 20 years now that we've had it and it's still running strong. It's, it's a workhorse. So if you want to invest in a good mixer that should last you a while, get yourself a Bosch. We actually have a link below to uh, the Bosch. It's, it's, it looks different now than it, than it did back when we got it but uh, I think it's the same engineering. So check out the link in the description to get your Bosch. And also I'll put a link for the, um, the wheat grinder as well so you can check that out. Well, how's it looking? I'm just tasting it. I'm nervous about how old it is. How old this flour is? Uh-huh. Or wheat, I mean. Jude's not sure either. Well, he isn't used to whole wheat. All we can do is bake it and see. People are going to notice our Bosch bowl. I know. It got melted probably. Like right after we got it. This thing is almost 20 years old. Forever ago. It is a total workhorse. We um we repaired it with some like hot glue. Hot glue. And yeah. that's held for the past. What, 18 years? 18 and a half like years? <laughs> okay, so Alexa, what's 3668 divided by 5? 3,668 divided by 5 is 733.6. Oh, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. I cleaned the counter with water and oregano oil. Well, how much was it? 730? 733. Okay. 0.6. So I just do this so I. So you get somewhat close. What? There you go. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's close. Enough. And then this, what you're gonna do is kind of- Mom has a technique. Roll it, I, I know my fingernails look gross. It's cause I painted a black piece of furniture yesterday. You're just gonna kind of roll it up like a soup, uh, like a sleeping bag, kind of tucking it in like that. Uh -huh. And then, so. Looking ready. Yeah, so they're all, all in there. And I'm gonna let them sit for about 30 minutes. And I just put, towel over them. You could put plastic wrap, but I think that's a mess. You have to like spray it and also it's plastic wrap. So this is just fine. I'll do it for about 30 minutes and then um, I will then start preheating the oven, which ours takes about 25 minutes. And at about that time, these are ready to go in, mm -hmm. depending on the warmth of the home. And then I'll throw them in and bake them for 30 minutes. You can use this same dough. If you want to have a whole wheat pizza crust, whole wheat rolls, whole wheat anything. You just would divide it up differently. And whole wheat pancakes? Uh-uh. Oh, I guess darn it. Whole wheat <laughs> okay, the oven is preheated and the bread is ready to go in. Okay, you I like it to be at the top of the pan. It's almost there and I'm just being impatient, so I'm gonna throw it in. Thanks for recording, Ash. Let's take this, uh... yeah this off so it doesn't get in the way of the bread. Rising. Okay. And 
I know, like, to be a really good bread baker, you would move those around the oven so they're evenly browned, but I never do that. Okay, the bread is out of the oven, and guess what? I really shouldn't have been impatient. Usually if my white bread is at about that level, it'll rise more in the oven, but this didn't. So I have some shorter loaves, and um, what we really need to do is do a taste test. So I'll let this cool for a little bit, and then maybe when a kid runs through, I'll I'll, I'll cut some up from them and ask them what they think. Okay, so it's time for us to actually try the bread and see how it tastes. No. Okay, we've cut it up. It looks good. Now we need to butter it and try it. I'll butter it. I'll help. I'll help out. I'll, I'll eat it without the butter. Okay, Andrew, put some I'm butter on it. Girl. Okay, Daniel. Hey, Daddy. The hula hoop's on a tree. So what do you think? Is that bread? Does it taste so good? Yeah. Tastes okay? I think it's pretty good bread. Yeah. Okay. It's like the old bread? Mm -hmm. I guess maybe you just need to let it rise longer or something. All right, Jude, you can try it. You want to put some butter on it? That's good bread. Is it good? Okay. So far, everyone is saying it's good. What do you are we going to see if you like it, though? Yeah. Oh, that's a lot of butter you're putting on there. Okay, let's see. You like it? Yeah. Okay. I tried the bread. It didn't taste good. It's a little dense. So I think maybe next time we'll let it rise a little bit longer. But I'm not sure if that's because the wheat is older. But... Tastes good to me. Megan, what do you think the issue with the bread was? Um, you know, it just might have needed more time to rise. Maybe it, I needed hotter water. I don't know. Hmm. Um, tastes fine. It's very dense because of the not rising issue. So right. I really knew that it's even documented on this video. I'm like, mm, it's not quite as high as it should be, but it'll be fine. But I'm so used to. Uh, the white bread, I think I didn't realize that white bread was a lot more in the oven than wheat bread does, so it really needs to be like nearly the height you want it to be when you put it in. Mm. I think that's what the issue was. Next time we'll let it rise longer. But it tastes fine, tastes good, and yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy that the, the wheat is good. Yeah, so. 25 year old wheat, Sweet. whatever it is. Um, but now the kids are just, let's see what the kids are doing. Playing a game on the deck here. Yeah. There it goes. Get it. So it's been a pretty busy day for everybody. The kids have stayed busy. Plenty to do outside today because it's been nice. Last night we learned some when Elijah is actually coming home. He got his flight. She's always listening. Eve's excited and then she's always listening. <laughs> what are you doing, Eve? Oh, are you gonna go outside? Yeah. Get your sweatshirt on. It's not cold. Elijah is coming home on Friday. Can I, I think his plane arrives at seven something. Mm -hmm. And as a lot of you have actually recommended, we'd actually already had the idea, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna get the RV, our trailer, we're gonna put it in the driveway. We got permission from the HOA. We got permission from the HOA to let it be there for a couple weeks so that he can have his own little apartment while he quarantines um, to make sure he's not sick and that he doesn't spread anything around. So we're gonna pull that in there on Friday and get it all fixed up. Well, not needs to be fixed up, but make sure it's cleaned up and it's put some food in the refrigerator, all that kind of good stuff on Friday. But we're happy to know when he's coming home. Yes. But right. Yes. But I have lots of bummed out feelings about how I can't hug him. Because really after the two weeks, what they're saying is that he'll be reassigned to a, a mission that's here in the state somewhere, so. But obviously if the whole we don't really country know. is like on lockdown, then he probably won't be until that is lifted. But yeah. at that point he could come inside again, but it's a so bummer, but I keep like trying to like think my way out of it and like, well, what about it? And I just can't, that's just this where we're at these days. It's a weird world. Gotta be careful. Uh, so that's the plan. So you will, we'll document all that on Friday. He's oh. been on lockdown in Japan. 
Yeah, for it's the over actual a month. yeah for over a month. It's the trip home is where he's going to be around travelers and. Well, and so what they do have is they have a face mask. Like he a, has the really a, high quality one. He got one a month ago in Japan. They said have, keep this. No, more than a month ago, six weeks ago, in case you are evacuated. And so mm -hmm. it's like the really high quality one. I don't remember. It's got some name. And so he'll be wearing that the whole time he's travels. traveling. So at the very least, if he is infected, he won't affect anyone else during that time. But Anyways. it would be hard for him to be infected because he hasn't really been interacting with too many people. But I don't know. It's a bummer. I just, it's, I know I'm, I'm grateful. There's so many things to be grateful for. And I'm sure some of you will remind me of those things but it is still hard to i haven't seen him in five months and it's a stressful time and i i'm glad he's coming home i'm relieved but um i can't hug him or touch him i can't go closer than six feet away yeah so i think what we're gonna do is we're gonna when we hang out we can hang out with him outside yeah at a distance because luckily distance. <laughs> luckily the weather's better now and then i think we'll set up some tables in the back deck here so we can have dinner together meals together probably dinner mostly because it's too hot with the sun during the day but so we can have dinner together he'll, he'll have, have his own table have Sorry. his own little table it'll be the elijah table <laughs> six feet away from the rest and, of our uh, he likes that anyway we can all hang out that way <laughs> <laughs> elijah he, he likes his space so it's okay i think we're going to end the day there uh there is a link below in the description some people have asked us about essential oils if you've got questions about that you can follow the link below to some information on that and how to get some essential oils if, if that's something you're interested in um, otherwise, thanks for coming along. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And also, if you push the little bell button that's uh, available, that way you'll get notified when we put up new videos. We got some fun videos coming up with Elijah coming home and doing the whole, should I say fun? I don't know if quarantine is fun, but it'll be interesting. So uh, click the little bell so you can get subscribed or uh, notified when we have new videos come up. All right, we'll see you guys later. Bye.